What's up, Ocean? You got Matt here, coach of your Montreal My Logic, bringing you another Pokemon Wi Fi battle. Today, we're here for round number one of the UPBA playoffs, and we snuck in at the very last week. Honestly, we misclicked. We had a chance to lose if the guy just clicked knockoff, but we'll take the W. Thank God. So, this game is against Aquarius, and we played her once in the regular season, and we'll go ahead and jump into the matchup right now. And as always, if you want to skip the uh, the team builder portion of the video, you can do so by clicking on the timestamp on the screen and in the description. Now, we played her in the regular season, that was our last loss we had, and we ran a team of only Life Orb Pokemon. The reason for that was because I felt pretty good about our chances to play her if we were to make it into the playoffs, and here we are, we're playing against Addison. And her team is terrifying with the Giratina, the Celesteela, the Clefable as the Nasty Fairy Dragon Steel Core. There's insane, insane breakers like Starmie, Terrakion, and Diggersby. Salazzle and Guzzlord have their uses. And then Togedemaru, Wishy Washi, and, uh, and uh, Carbink, I don't really expect to see in this matchup here. Either way, though, we are bringing the exact same six Pokemon we brought last time. However, we're not bringing Mono Life Orbit, which we did the previous time around. Now, we did make some adjustments, some very small changes that are going to have a pretty big impact, I find, in this certain uh, matchup here. So, fingers crossed we can get it done. We'll see how it goes, but let's jump into it. Starting with our very first mod, it is going to be our Dragapult. The Doctor is in Dragon... No, 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 not Dragon Darts. Draco Meteor, Hex, U-Turn, and will o -Wisp. Honestly, launching a Draco Dragon Fang boosted Draco Meteor from a modest... Um, Dragapult is not a easy thing for her to deal with outside of like specifically Celesteela, Clefable, and Carbink. I believe the, I believe it'll actually Oko everything on the team. It'll Oko the uh, Guzzlord depending on its set. It'll Oko Salazzle. It'll Oko the Diggersby Starmie Terrakion. And depending on the set, if it's a offensive speedy Giratina, we'll Oko it as well with the Dragon Fang Dragon uh, Draco Meteor. So that's important to note. But the speed we have on the set, I decided to be a little bit more aggressive with it so I can have a bit more EVs in my bulk. The speed is there for anything creeping in me creeping them creeping a Heliolisk. So for example, I believe Heliolisk reaches 177, Starmie goes down to 178, I would go down to 179, so she would say, okay, let me go to 180, and now I'm at 181 as my speed. So that is, that is exactly what I'm hoping for. will -O is there because her team has a lot of physical attackers. Celesteel can be physically offensive. I think a physically offensive Celesteel with like flame charge, uh, weakness policy, a Todmize, or whatever, with it, it, with acrobatics is very scary, so having the will -O is nice for that. It nukes the Terrakion and the Diggersby, which is nice. It lets me find out if the uh, Clefable is going to be magic guard or unaware uh, and just in general really solid she's a lot of physical attackers wearing those down is pretty important our next mon is going to be the master arkhan kelder here conk is really nice we ran life orb sheer force last time however we're going with iron fist this week and with the assault fest as well this is so we can take a couple hits from special pokemon like the starmie as the big thing that starmie is so so annoying also clefable is just a pain in the ass we have mock punch as our only stab option because we really don't need it you need fighting in general for a lot of pokemon outside of like specifically Terrakion and Diggersby and Guzzlord, and, and I guess Togemaru, but Togemaru is taking a ton of damage from the Mach Punch. Diggersby and Terrakion, depending on their investment, can actually drop to the Mach Punch because it's Iron Fist boosted. And then uh, Guzzlord takes super effective damage from Ice Beam, Ice Punch as well. So we have that kind of covered on the, at that point too. Poison Jab is there for the Clef. Thunder Punch is there for the Celesteela. It does about half to Celesteela. If it's fully defensive, we do 42 to 50. If it's not fully defensive, we'll actually be able to do a kill at Guaranteed, which is nice. And Ice Punch is there for the Giratina. We do an insane amount of damage to that Pokemon. We have very little speed, just anything for random creepers. We have enough investment in our defense so we can actually take a plus one Starmie's uh, Slice Shock. That's in case it gets a Meteor Beam boost off, which is pretty important. We also take two no special attack Celesteela Air Slashes from full as well. That is going to be our Conkeldur. Our next mod is going to be our Mammal Swine. This is basically the exact same set we had last time. Crash, Earthquake, Knockoff, and Ice Shard. Hopefully we don't miss an Ice Crash this week. We lost last time because we actually missed an Ice Crash, funny enough, uh, on a turn that I should have gone for Knockoff, but I got punished. It happens. We are, instead of running Jolly, we're running Adamant because I don't think that she's going to run a Diggersby that's going to be Jolly. So we're creeping Adamant Diggersby. And it's a bit of an aggressive creep, it really is, but I should take any one hit as long as it's not like a boosting item and like boosted Mega Kick, for example, and we can Oko back with Earthquake. If she has a like 80%, I'll Oko with Ice Shard. So I feel pretty good about that. This Pokemon gets chip on the Giratina. It gets chip on everything. The main thing is if I can put things in range of this Pokemon, I'll be in a really good spot. And on top of that, if she brings Guzzlord, then she has a really hard time switching into this. Nothing really switches into Ice Coverage outside of Starmie, which still takes like 45% from Ice Go Crash. Then there's Celesteela, which is the only thing that really switches into ground moves, uh, because, I mean, it's got 
flying type. I mean, so does Giratina with Levitate, but Ice moves, the risk, it's not really there. Uh, on top of that, Clefable, I'm faster than it. Celesteela, I'm faster than it. Dickersby, theoretically, I'm faster than it. Guzzlord, again, faster. Carbink, Wishiwashi, all faster. She doesn't really have a good switch in this Pokemon. I feel really good about this. Thick Fat is there for the Salazzle Fire moves. Hopefully we can put in the work with it. Fingers crossed that we get it done. And we take like any one hit from the Giratina as well, which is amazing. The main thing is if it goes for Willowsp against me, that sucks. <laughs> that sucks. That's all I can say. Our next Mon though is going to be Davros, our Nidoking. Also, Life Orb, Sheer Force this week. We are running Double Life Orb. This Pokemon is also the exact same set. Instead of going the Timid Nature, we have the Modest Nature to get a bit of extra damage against things. Sludge Wave is there for the Clefable. Uh, Ice Beam is there for the Giratina, for the Diggersby, uh, and the Guzzlord. Earth Power is there for something like the Terrakion, uh, for the Salazzle, and the Carbink, and the Togemaru, I guess. And Thunderbolt hits the Wishy Washy, the Starmie, and the Celesteela for amazing damage. That is going to be our Nidoking. It's just a solid Pokemon all around. There's a lot of damage. Hopefully it can come in. It's not going to be a sack early on, but if I can bring this thing in against Clef, Steela, Diggers B, depending on the set, I should be in a really, really good spot to just break something. Hopefully we can do it. Fingers crossed. We'll see how it goes. Our next mod is going to be Rory, our Heliosk. Again, this Pokemon kind of has to come because Starmie is the biggest problem on this team. Not the Giratina, not the Clefable, not the Celesteela. Fucking Heliosk. Why? No, not Heliosk. Starmie. Damn. <laughs> I messed up my thing, my intro, my, my discussion. I'm, I'm so burnt. Starmie is the biggest threat to our team. So we have our Dry Skin Assault S Helios, which can take Psychics, Meteor Beams, Ice Beams, whatever the case is going to be. She's going to have to go for something like a Psy Shock against us. And even then, Psy Shock won't get the KO. We force her to not be able to go for Water Moves, and I can go for Discharge and really weaken that thing. If she doesn't bring the Diggersby, Voltage around. If she does bring the Diggersby, last time she was a super bulky Assault Vest, like a fully Spideff almost, Diggersby. And I can go for Surf against that to weaken it. Also, I can just switch out into something else. I feel pretty good. So that is going to be our Helios, just a solid Pokemon overall. Hopefully it goes well. Dragon Pulse is there to hit both the Giratina and the Guzzlord for neutral damage. And uh, that's really all I can do with this Pokemon here. So fingers crossed it, it puts in the absolute work for us. And then our final Mon is going to be the Spice. We're running Fling Victini. Fling TR71 Victini. This is the best way Victini has to hit a Giratina. If Giratina is an offensive, speedy Giratina with like very little bulk, then we should be doing around 54 to 62% with a fling from tr71 because tr71 is leaf storm leaf storm is 130 base power that means fling is going to be 130 base power v create is also an insane nuke this game her only answers to v create are going to be guzzlord salazzle carbink and giratina so that's four answers honestly guzzlord and carbink don't really expect them to come salazzle could come but it's very very frail and then it'll die on crack back to a bolt strike and then giratina i can just fling after which is really nice bolt strike for the star me for the celesteela in case i don't want to get the drops and then u-turn for a bit of momentum in case i really need to we have enough speed on this set for the giratina that's really all i need this pokemon should be doing well it could take a shadow sneak from admin giratina i'm really hoping that we can get the w here if we don't it was a good season. We managed to climb back in the playoffs, but hopefully we can get the job done. This is going to be it. This is the round one battle of the UPBA against the goddamn Giratina and Addison and her Chicago strength staff. So fingers crossed we can get it done. And guys, if you, uh, well, listen, if you guys enjoyed the team builder, if you guys watched this far in the team builder, make sure to leave a like, of course, and comment the secret word of the day. Let me know that you watched this far and show me that you are a real MVP who watches the team builders. Our secret word of the day is going to be lobster rolls. Julie and I went to a restaurant today, Lucille's, and it was a very good place. They have a ton of seafood and stuff like that, and one, they had lobster rolls, and Julia got lobster rolls, so uh, we're going to say lobster rolls. <sighs> I'm nervous, but let's do it. It's time to battle. All right, everyone, we're back, and this is basically the team we expected, all right? The Trachyon's here, the Diggersby's there, the Clef is here as the Dragapult answer. The question is, what is she going to lead with? I don't know, um, but let's mark everything down. So there is the Fairy Dragon Steel Core, the Dirty Fairy, fairy Dragon Steel Core. There is the Terrakion. There is the Diggersby. There's the Starmie. Okay. Um, in my mock, I let off against, I let off with the Doctor, but my opponent let off with Salazzle. So I think what I'm going to do is still lead off with Pult. Um, I don't see a lead of Clef. If there is a lead of Clef, fine. If she leads with anything else, I click Draco. And then if she goes into Clef, I click U-turn. That simple. So we will see how it goes. It's gonna be, this is gonna be a game. This is gonna be a game. I really, she's probably thinking like, oh, Matt could lead with this Helios again. He brought the same team as last time. Basically the good news is because we see three Pokemon that are slower than Mammal Swine and the, uh, the, the, the Nino King, those should break really well as soon as they come in. Yeah, uh, I hope at least. I really hope. Okay. 
I should lower the audio a bit. What is the lead on Addison's part? Addison leads with Lancaster, which is the Terrakion. Pult should take any Terrakion attack. So Terrakion, level 50. Um, oh, wow, we actually don't KO it. Insane. We do 80 to 94 with Draco. Uh, I think that means I just go for... Do I go for the Will-O-Wisp here, try and burn it, and then make the play? Because I never KO it anyways. And Stonehenge will do enough to put me on range of anything. So I th think I go for the Will-O-Wisp. Then if, I, if it's burnt... If it's burned, uh, I do... It has 36% with Stone Edge. How much does Giratina do to me? Giratina, Physical Attacker with Shadow Sneak. 73, that's adamant. Uh, I'm going to go for that Will-O-Wisp here. If she goes for a Hard Switch, that's fine. She's going to stay in. We do connect the Will-O-Wisp, which is nice. This is probably just her Rocker, to be honest. Which, like, so be it. We're going to see here a Stealth Rock. Yeah, so it is the Rocker. It is probably a Sash lead to Rakion. Uh, I can go for the Hex here. I can go for a U-turn. I can also just drop the Draco. Let's see. Do we just drop it? I can just go for the Draco Meteor and then get the hell out. I'm going to do that. I'm going to go for the Draco right now. We have a chance to kill this thing. She's going to stay in. Bro. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Are you actually kidding me? Are you... Are you we, we, we cannot afford to miss moves. Not, not, not against a team like this. Not in, the, not in the playoffs. Come on, Pult. That Draco has a chance to KO too. Depending on her set, obviously. But if she's like a regular set, very speedy, it's a, it's a chance to KO. Draco Meteor, this one comes out. Do we get the KO here? And now we're punished. Now we're punished on the Earthquake. We're basically losing our best Pokemon now. That's so big. Oh my god, okay. Stay alive so I can U-turn. Okay, I can U-turn out here. If I go, what do I go into though? Um, I can go into Conkeldur, which kind of pressures everything. Forces in the Clef. Um, I can go into Heliolisk, that forces in the Diggersby, which is a problem. Victini probably forces in the Giratina, but I can fling that. No, it forces in Starmie. I think my play has to be, if I'm U-turning, I go into Conk. I'm going to go for the U-turn here. That Draco hurts. I take... Oh my god, I got the U-turn prediction. Switch. So she's saving a sack here. Bubble Gum. So we get a nice fat play into the Clef. That I will definitely take. I will definitely take that. Wow. Um, now the play is going to be what? What do I go into here? Is that a... Do I still switch out? I hope I still switch out. I don't think I do. Eject button clef. All right. I know it's not leftovers at least. It's probably going to be very bulky. Uh, Big Kahuna comes in. That's the Diggers B. I don't get the switch, unfortunately. So this is kind of just showing it is scarfed. Um, I want to keep this around. I really do. Question is, what am I going into? I feel like this Pokemon is like the least important thing in the world to me right now. Uh, if I go into Kong, how much does Kong take from Earthquake from this thing? What is this Pokemon called? Diggersby. Level 50. Earthquake to Conk will do uh, enough to Tuba kill me. That's for sure. That is for sure. But I think here, unfortunately, the dream is dead. I go into Captain Jack and I sack it off. That is sad, but what are you going to do? Uh, it, was my, it was my play. I kind of had to go with it. And there's the Earthquake. Again, we're very confident this is a Scarfed Diggersby. And that gets the KO on us. So there's the Victini. Yeah, then no matter what happened, we drop there. Uh, I can go into need into with this Pokemon here now. What is his switch in? His switch in is probably go into the Terrakion to sack it off. Let's go for the knockoff. 
in case it switches for some reason something else. But we shall see. Earthquake will not do enough to KO me. This Pokemon is a problem. I'm very confident that it's Scarf now. And losing all that chip on Palt was so bad. Yeah, so the sack is very free here. This game is already, like, the, the play with the, uh, like, the play is only possible one time, but you only need to do it once to break Victini. Like, Victini forced in Giratina, forced it to take chip, which is important, so it was a really nice play. All right. If I see Starmie, I have to go into Conk, I think. I think, yeah. Because she goes for Meteor Beam, and then she has to specifically have Psy Shock. We still have to be with Pult, and we can KO. Yeah, I'm kind of disappointed about that. What are you going to do? Snake Eater, that is the Starmie, that is the Starmie. Okay, um, here we swap, we go into, I can go into Rory here. If it's Water Move, that helps me. If it's not Water Move, that still kind of helps me a bit, because I have the Assault Vest. Um, she has a pretty free Psy Shock here, I think, but I don't think she goes for it. I think, if anything, we're going to see... I'm going to go into the Master, I believe. We'll go into the Master. If she Psy Shocks, she Psy Shocks, so be it. We'll see how it goes. So the Switch comes out into the Master here. And we see a Psy Shock, or do we see a Meteor Beam or a Rapid Spin? Meteor Beam, okay. I'm kind of fine with that, kind of. She's at plus one, and she'll get the boost now. And then she'll pop up immediately. If she misses, it'd be great. This be so. This be good revenge for me. Nah, she she hits. Okay. Jesus. Uh, I believe Psychic KOs now. We're at 136. Conkelder against the Starmie at plus one. Level 50. Psychic. That'll do enough. Yeah, everything will do enough now. Even with the Assault Test. Uh, I can go for a Mock Punch, get some Chip. I can swap into what, though? Nothing comes in and eats. I literally have to Sack, so I'm going to go for the Mock Punch here. If, if for some reason she goes for, for Rabbit Spin, then I lose the game right here. That's some big damage. Is that a crit? Yeah. Side shock. Yeah, so I've got the KO. Losing Conk is really bad. Losing Conk is really bad. Basically, that entire beginning really messed up. If I'd just gone for a U-turn, I would have been in much, a much better position. But I didn't, and it's costing me. But I go into the Doctor now. Okay, now we go take a look at... Uh, where is it? This thing. Dragapult. Against the Starmie. Starmie takes a ton from... That I can go for a. Is my play to go for a Draco here? My play to go for a Hex. I think my play is just go for Hex. Like it's if the Clef comes in, we get some chip on it. I just go for the Hex. Or does she give me the Starmie? She's gonna switch out. Probably went to Bubblegum the Clef here. Valentine, which is Celesteela. So we get the Celesteela with a bit of damage now, which is nice. A bit of damage, that's a lot of damage. That's a crit, that's why. Double crits there. Um, I can go for a U-turn here. So I'm going to do that. What is the Celesteel play here? Is it Heavy Slam? Is it Earthquake? What is the Steel play? Um, I can go into Davros here and start pressuring. I think that kind of has to be the play, unfortunately, so we're going to do that. We're probably seeing an Earthquake here, maybe an Atotomize. Flame Charge, Atotomize. Okay. So, it's going to outspeed me now. I believe we should take any hits. Nido King against Celesteela. If it is especially, especially Offense, we take any hits. If it is Adamant with Earthquake, uh, we, it's, we take any hit after Rocks. Good. So we can go for the Thunderbolt here. Is Thunderbolt to play, or is Ice Beam to play? I think Thunderbolt's still to play, even with Wakanberry, potentially. We're going to see the Earthquake. So we eat this hit. 
which is good. But again, now we're getting we're getting to the point where like we have nothing for the uh, the Giratina. We do we have nothing for it at this point. And the the early game just, just really good problem on her end with that Clefable. Getting the U-turn play was nice. It costs a bit of damage on like if I had gone for Hex or something or Will O Wisp, that could have been really good for me. But um, just early on though, I think I think I really didn't play well around that. Sadly. In comes the Scarf, Bunny. And I have to sack something here, sadly. Is it Rory? I have nothing for this Pokemon. I should have brought I should have brought uh, Moltres over Victini. We were really debating that, and sadly, we did the wrong play. Um, do I... What do I... Okay, Celesteel is gone. Terrakion's gone. Starmie is weakened, but not much. Diggers, we just clicks Earthquake and gets a KO on everything, basically. I don't have Sucker Punch either. I just kind of have to hope that it's not Scarf, but it is Scarf for sure. The way she's going into it, yeah, she's Scarf. It, it, there's nothing I can do about it. I, I, obviously, I don't know if she's Scarf. I'm creeping adamant, but I'm very confident she's Scarf. I just... Makes it tough. Makes it tough. The the early game really was not in my favor there. She brought the right to Rakion. I have to go into Don't Blink here. I actually died to the attack, unfortunately. Unless she somehow doesn't have Sneak on Giratina. But even then, I, I think I lose still. Because she has Clef. Uh, do I have to go for like... Do I go for a crit here? It's Mamoswine against... Uh, what is this thing called? Digger's B. Scarfed. Shard does not KO. She knows I'm Life Orb. I can go for Knock Off here. Um, I'll just go for Crash. I'll just go for Crash. She's in range. She goes into Starmie here. She's going to switch out. Is she going to go into Starmie, though? She goes into Starmie. So we'll manage to get the Ice Cold Crash off on this. Assuming we actually hit this time. We do. And this should put her in range of Ice Shard now. Yeah. And we can go for the Ice Shard now. Knock over to preserve some PP, but like, what was she going to go into after? Clef? Okay, so down goes the Starmie. Uh, I just need to get this Pokemon in. I just need to get this Pokemon into the field. And I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it often enough, especially early on. Sash Trachyon Lee was very good, though. Very good on her end. In comes the big Kahuna. I guess she's trying to go for a quick attack kill here. Uh, I just go for my Ice Shard either way. I hope for a crit. Let's hope for a crit. Crit, please. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is going to be our season. She could have just stayed in an Earthquake me and gotten, gotten the win. But uh, Scarf Diggersby is a problem. This Pokemon was always a problem against me. Like, what, what could I have done better? I think, honestly, like, we want to bring a Victini because it's very good against the slower mods. The issue was she got into the faster mods. I only had two Pokemon I could get into effectively with Victini. I'm looking at this side because that's where the, the team is. It was still Seal and Clefable. Uh, it would have been Vic Diggersby as well. But, obviously, Diggersby is just Scarf now, so it doesn't make a difference. But, uh... We're going to go for the Dragon Pulse here, I guess, just in case she switches. But, uh, yeah, we're going to see the Earthquake come out. That'll get the KO. Our season comes to an end. We managed to sneak back into playoffs. Um, we brought, we, we, we made this team. We did this, we did these transactions with the hope of, like, helping with this, this roster here. The issue is our team is just so weak to Starmie. We have to put so much attention to that Pokemon that we didn't have enough anywhere else. And Diggersby, massive problem. Props to her. The eject pack clef was really big. So if I got the U-turn off on that thing and got into my my uh, my Needle King, I was in such an amazing position there. Even after the Miss Draco, uh, taking the hex damage or the what's it called? The, the hex damage. What was it called? Um, can't remember the name of that thing. The the extra damage with on the Terrakion with the Terrakion on my Pult kind of sucks. But I guess the play there should have been to be like, you know what? She's leading with Terrakion. People who lead with Terrakion are going for rocks. I kind of expected her to go for rocks, but I want to be safer rather than sorry. And I didn't play as aggressive enough. And that's kind of like a, a recurring theme when it comes to my playoff game, sadly. I'm just not as aggressive as I need to be. And I end up taking a loss because of that sometimes. Uh, happened in BBL finals. Happened here. I just need to actually go for an attack. 
with the Pult. If I'd gone for even Hex and then go into Draco, then I'll be in a really good spot against whatever comes in because at that point I'll be at full HP. I'll be able to go for a U-turn against something. If she goes into the Clef, I go for that U-turn. I get the Eject Pack off. Yeah, she gets to go into something else. Yeah, even then, it's like... I'm really regretting not running Moltres. I was really thinking about heavily going Moltres over the Victini, but I was like, what exactly am I going to run on the Moltres? Because I can't touch the Clefable at all. My hope is I just had a U-turn on it. I can go Steel Wing. I can't really do much to sell a Steela. Then there's like, Starmie's cool and everything, but it can still break me down because it has Meteor Beam exactly, or even Thunderbolt and Ice Beam. Uh, it was mainly going to be a check for Giratina, and it wouldn't even do that very well. So it is what it is. We take a loss here. A very quick game too. A very, very quick game, sadly, which is unfortunate. But hey, it is what it is. Uh, I want to give a thank you to our YouTube channel members. We have quite a few of them. So thank you to our level ones. We have Liv, Eric, Zeke, and Michael Brown are level ones. Shout out to level... Oh, and Texas Man, of course. My mistake. Uh, and then level twos are going to be Crunch Games and Tone. And level three is going to be Sully. Thank you guys for watching the season of the UPBA. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to stick around for more things to come in the future. GG to Addison. Best luck to her in the next round. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you next time.